And then under TS instrument, mm -hmm. there's check and adjust. Oh, I saw that one, yeah. So you go in there, mm -hmm. and it'll ask you just to make sure, you know, that if it's really cold out, the instrument's cold. If it's really hot out, the instrument's hot. So it just want, doesn't want you to do the calibration and have the instrument change temperature. So you just say, okay. And then this top one up here, check and adjust the compensator, index error, line of sight error, and automatic target aiming. That's the one that most people will always, will just do whenever they get a chance. It's the easiest one. So you say next to that, and then it just asks you to aim accurately at a target positioned horizontally at a distance greater than 100 meters. Now this is what I was talking about. Yeah. You don't have to be that far away. So, okay, it's 100, so 100 I'll just meters. I'll just aim it at the crosshair of that, and you should always do it with a like a round prism. Mm -hmm. Like a round prism, right? Yep. Yeah. Round prism. Like a round, right? Yep. Okay, that's phase one. Now it's gonna be phase two. Yep. You just do the same thing in phase two. You just hit measure again. Measure. And then you can, you can finish or you can add another loop. I always usually add another loop. So you take, we're gonna do the same thing again. And hit measure. And it'll come back. And that's it. So you don't see the difference? You're right here. So this is the number of measurements we took. This is, uh, the, these are the amounts that those values have changed since the last calibration. And then you can f see the results. So these are the new results. Oh. Hey, David. Mm -hmm. When the old results are all zeros, yeah. does that mean... The old one, it's never been... Um, so it's never been it's calibrated. Been check and adjust, or it's been zeroed since it's last... It would, it, would, it would have never been calibrated or it was zero when it was last serviced. Okay. All right. Because normally those numbers aren't zero. They are zero. Normally, normally you see values in there. Because no total station is, comes off the factory completely perfect. They all need some sort of calibration before they can so be used. So meaning like it, it hasn't... So anyway, but you see some of these v values like the ATR camera... So the ATR is the camera that aims to the center of the prism automatically. And mm -hmm. have you ever looked, have you ever like had it auto aim and then you look through the telescope and it doesn't look like it's on the middle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I, I sent in one picture. That's why, so that, we just adjusted that by 16 seconds and four seconds. So we right just, now? yeah, we just adjusted a, a big adjustment in that. Just so, no. It, yeah, so it should be better now, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let it finish. And then uh, we can, see, if you want to, you can say, you know what? Remind me to do this once a month. And now when you turn the instrument on, it'll say, hey, you haven't done a calibration in about a month. You, you, want, good, you, you want to do one? You think like once a month is good enough? Yeah, or, yeah, or I mean, it's, it's, you, saw how, you, you saw how easy it is to do. Yeah. So you could do it like, I don't know, maybe you're setting up the instrument, your backside's set up and you got to wait. 10 minutes because somebody's not there yet or you, you, there's something in the way. You, know, you could just quickly do a quick one. Or if the instrument, you're driving and you put on the brakes real hard and the instrument tumbles around in the car, you could do a you know, real quick one just to make... temperature changes as well. Uh, oh. I usually get a lot of... If it's um, the temperature's like really hot one day and really cold the next, that's when you, you like set it up. Uh, let it, let it climb as outside, then run a check and adjust because that's more temperature change.